What is up everybody? I'm Excalibur and well yeah I'm wearing glasses that's because I've been working on this shit for over a week now and I know because of my videos have been spotty and everything like that I know this looks shitty right now but keep in mind this is in 3ds max um there's a newer version I'm not all that used to it yet but at the same time my plan is to take this throw it into another uh program called mudbox by uh, autodesk as well um, it makes it so that you can sculpt it, like almost like you see the people in what is it, like horror movie documentary things, where they're like sculpting some face out of clay for a zombie or something like that. So that's basically what's going to happen with this. So I can adjust the basic shape. Um, but no, I have not been working for a week on a boot. Um, I have other things that I've also been working on. Um, but let me save this real quick because I can't remember if I did. I am very very tired. Then staying up till about 7 in the fucking morning, right? you know, like every night almost. Um, right now it's like 3 a.m. Um, I'm doing this just so you guys know that I'm exceedingly busy and I'm really trying really hard to, uh, you know, keep this whole uh, upload schedule good. You know, let's go to that because I don't know about copyright on that shit. So the other one was a boot. Um, I raised the, high, the ankle area right here. Um, obviously this one's not quite in the view that the other one was. But um, it was mainly just so that you guys can see what I'm working on. And <clears throat> this is the normal shoe. Um, now these are meant and in their own little thing so that I can actually take them into Mudbox, adjust them, save it as something else, take, them, take it back in, save that as something else, and do that so I've got the basic shape of a shoe and I can adjust it to what I want. That way I can create a sneaker, I can create a, a, a some hover boot, I don't know, a foot for a robot, which will probably actually be in the game that I'm designing. Um, and I'll try to do these videos every so often so you guys can see what I'm doing exactly. Um, that way you guys know why I'm missing these uploads, and I'm like I said, I'm really trying hard. Um, this weekend I literally spent maybe a combination of... Oh, fuck, maybe like... 30 to 36 hours working on not just these but there's another model that I'm going to show you that is my basic model for all the characters and the NPC, NPCs and all that kind of stuff and I'm not going to go into the full detail of my game um, one of my very I don't know things that scare me a lot is someone taking my idea before I can get it out there and, and I know I want to share these games with the world and all that kind of stuff but it's also the fact that like it's it's my vision in a sense and I don't want to be like selfish in that in that terminology by using that but I just mean like there's a very specific vision I have for this and if I ever let people know about the exact thought that I'm doing um, and I see it happen out there I'm not just gonna be like you know oh shit I, I wasn't able to do it but at the same time and I'm gonna bring up my other character um and uh, did I change anything? I don't think I did. I'm, I'm going to save it just in case. Just because. So this is the other thing that I was working on. Um, but I'm also very scared of um, my ideas not just being taken. And you can see the face is a little bit off. But this is the best I got right now. Um, and I'll adjust it later. But I'm, I'm afraid of my ideas being taken because I, I want to make it myself in a sense and this is not me trying to be selfish or anything like that because I, I want to share these games with the world but this is just me well knowing that I want to share this with the world I, I want it to be my gift and in a sense that um sorry I'm like half asleep right now I'm so exhausted <laughs> um but in a sense that I never really have to worry about working on something and all of a sudden I see it out there already and it's not even like it was out there because I always look at my concepts and try to find other games like it. God damn, I gotta fix his fucking thigh. Shit, what the fuck happened there? Um, but it's also the fact that um, if, I, if I saw that kind of thing out there and Jesus, while, while I'm talking I'm gonna go ahead and edit some of this shit. Um, but if I saw my idea out there and I saw it taken to that like sense where it was like, you know, damn it, um, this is the exact thing that I was going to make, this is exactly what I talked about, and then I f look at the release date and it was literally just a few days 
your months or whatever after I already had already talked about it. And uh, sorry, I get really into this, but basically it's the whole thing of being afraid that my ideas will be taken and my friends always say, you know, hey, careful who you talk to about it because, you know, you don't want that whole shit to happen. So a weird thing over here. Usually I have this much smaller, so I have to, you know, wind through it. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to go into the full idea. And I'm sorry, this video is probably getting a bit long. Oh, that's weird. Um, sorry, uh, OBS upgraded, so it kind of is throwing me off a little bit in what it looks like. But yeah, so basically it kind of worries me in that kind of sense. And so I'm like I said, I'm not going to go into the full detail of it. But it is something that all of my friends um, that I've told about, at least, are very, very excited for. They, they're, they you know, ecstatic. They want to see it happen. They want to see me play this kind of, you know, make this kind of game. Uh, that's, that's a little bit better, but here, let's take that down just a notch. Um, and so this is something I'm really working hard for and trying to do, and it's for my application to Columbia um, in, you know, Chicago, Chi-Town. But... Like one of the things that I can you know put in is work that I've done. You know, uh, this is what was something I'm working really hard at, and it's obviously taking up a lot of my time because I'm not just doing this. I'm also going to school, taking four classes. I mean, one class doesn't start until October or some shit like that, and uh, so it's really just one of those things. Hang on, I gotta change that. Um, one of those things that is taking up a lot of time, and I know I keep saying that because I'm focused on this shit at the same time, but yeah, it's just, I, I want you guys to know that I'm not just shirking my responsibility to you guys, I'm actually really, really trying, and it's just that this kind of stuff is kind of taking a lot of my attention away, um, understandably so, and yes, I know, we're staring at his ass, it's kind of part of, you know, character modeling, <laughs> but yeah, so just one of those things I wanted to share with you guys. But yeah, I'm going to be bringing these characters into Mudbox, which I haven't gotten yet. I'm going to do the whole trial shit and all that kind of thing for it. Um, I get out of my way, plane. And uh, so you can see that this is actually the very character that took me so long to model over the weekend. Um, I had tried it a couple times prior. Um, and it just it didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Like I I was trying a different game concept, and it it just didn't work. I mean, it's not like it didn't work. I mean, I I still really want to do the the idea. I think it's a fucking great idea, but it's just one of those things that uh, God man, this is annoying sometimes. Um ah fuck sorry um I gotta hold alt my laptops over here that I'm actually doing all the stuff on. But, ah, that's ugly. Ugly. Uh, I'll have to sculpt that away. But that can go in. Um, I can probably connect those faces there, too. I'm going to do that real quick. Sorry, I, I'm, like, focused on two different things right now. Sorry. <laughs> Not my intention to totally dick this over. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually do it a different way. But, yeah, so my game concept, um, like I said, I'm not going to talk about very much. But it, it's just... My take on, on corporations and the modern society's kind of deal with it. And uh, so, I mean, this is my main character. I have a very, very, uh, a very difficult scope to kind of fit into for my um actual thing. Is, sorry, hang on. Let me adjust that a little bit so you can actually centered. I keep feeling like I'm looking. It's like actually over there. Um, but I have a very, uh, I have a too big of a scope in mind, you know, compared to what I should have. Uh, like, especially as a, uh, I don't want to say amateur, but yeah, amateur kind of designer in this. And so basically the issue that I'm running into is the fact that I'm very limited in my abilities at the moment, you know, but if you guys follow me on what the fuck happened to his goddamn forehead oh my god ew <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> keep doing this shit but um yeah so if you guys follow me on twitter you'll see that i posted a uh you know tweet the other day just saying like i've got a huge idea in mind this it's gonna definitely challenge my scope just as a uh a designer and 
the fact that I got to learn all this shit at the exact same time um, is going to be something that I'm going to find exceedingly difficult. And so all of this stuff that you're seeing here, I'm actually, I'm learning it at the same exact time. I'm not like, you know, oh, we'll do this. Oh, okay, I do that. But it's literally me watching tutorials. That's why I got, you know, Chrome down here. Um, videos and, you know, reading different things. I'm actually considering going to Chegg and uh, renting um, one of the textbooks on this kind of stuff. Um, that way I can actually do this shit even better because I, I don't like half-assing this shit at all. Like, that's one of the things my tech teacher in, uh, like, high school said that I tend to do, is that I tend to overthink things. Damn it. I, sorry, I got this mouse pad over here, and it keeps sticking my arm. It's for, like, when I go to take my computer elsewhere, like, you know, in my family room or some shit, and it's just, like, a really bad table to do all that shit on. But, yeah, so, okay. Back, back to actually speaking English and doing normal shit, but... Yeah, so it's a very, uh, very challenging kind of game that I'm trying to design. I've got a very, uh, I can't think of the word, um, something directors would say, a, a giant, a vision. There it is. Uh, I have a very detailed vision in how I want this game to be, um, especially in the intro, too. That's going to be one of the things that I find really challenging because um, even my friend was like, dude, like, wow, you, you're gonna fucking kill yourself over this, <laughs> and, um, so far I've been breaking my own back over it, and I'm trying to make it so that it's got a very, very detailed intro, because the intro I want is one of those that tends to drag you in, the kind of mysterious guy talking in the background, um, giving you a little bit of the story, but not all of the story, and giving you this, this, scope of what the game is going to be and and who you're going to be and i and i always find that whenever i play those games it, it sucks me in and just pulls me to it and i get addicted to those games i play them for fucking hours and hours and days on end and uh like like uh horizon zero dawn like that's one of those that tends to just pull me into it where um it's not really describing the story but you you kind of see um aloy's you know, adoptive father, uh, taking you around to a, uh, a shrine. And I know it may sound like I'm spoiling stuff, but this is literally the first couple of minutes in the game and you get very interested in what's going on and what, what's going to happen and who you are and who that person is and who the other person is. And, and that kind of intro to a game just is my, one of my absolute favorites. And that's why I want to do that kind of intro because I know it sucks me in. It's it's something that I absolutely love, and I I know well. I hope other people are gonna love it too. And also just because I mean, honestly, my grades aren't all that great in uh, school. Sorry, I got an eyelash that keeps fucking with me. Um, but my grades aren't all that good in school, and that's really just because not easy to go to school. Um, you know, especially three summer classes, um, but taking four classes, well, I'm going to say three and a quarter because, like I said, the other one doesn't start till way later in the, in the semester, like October. And um, all this, and uh, you know, school while going to take, you know, working a full-time job, um, designing a game, you know, and, and within that little bit, modeling the characters, um, sculpting the characters, creating the clothing, which I still have to do and learn how to use the garment maker and this shit. If you have tips for that, definitely let me know. And any tips for this kind of thing, let me know. Um, just keep in mind, the squareness of it is going to be fixed when I take it to sculpting. So if you're saying like the ears pointy, um, that, that's probably how I'm going to respond is that it's going to be fixed in sculpting, you know, hopefully. Um, but uh, modeling the characters, creating the storyline, animating everything, creating the controls. Um, I'm hoping to be using Unreal Editor um, just because like, it looks phenomenal. It gives you a lot of the, the starting steps to it. And I know Unity, um, I do have a little bit of experience with Unity, and Unity gives you a little bit more, or, well, not as much, sorry, I got mixed up. Um, 
you, Unreal Editor gives you a little bit more than Unity does in the start, it seems. Um, so like Un, uh, Unreal Editor can give you the code and such for a first-person shooter. And this, this game I'm um, designing here is going to be a second-person um, RPG action adventure type game that has some shooting aspects but I don't I, I want this to be one of those games that's completely not fully focused on shooting and running and you know all that kind of stuff um best way I can equate it to would be maybe a little bit like Assassin's Creed in a sense but like when you first start Assassin's Creed and you have like no weapons except for a hidden blade and a sword you know, um, because I, I want it to be like that, and I don't want it to be where the player can just run around and shoot everything and get through the game really quick and, and easily, because, of course, like any game, I want some sort of challenge to it. And um, so on top of that, it's just... I, I want it to have a very deep storyline. This is, if you guys followed me on Twitter again, um, on Friday I put out a tweet saying, have you ever had you know an idea that you knew was going to be awesome just stuck in your head, but you just can't fully form it's just like bleh, bleh, and it just comes out like a pile of shit but then you like think over it for like a day and then relax and all of a sudden the second you relax you're like oh fuck i got it and i had that moment after after work on friday night i was like all right weekends here you know i'm gonna use tonight to relax maybe watch a watch a couple of shows that i've been missing out on um and then ah, sorry i always get eyelashes in my eye um and the second that i step out of work and all that you know relaxation thoughts come into my head where i'm like i'm just gonna take this night to relax i've been staying up till 7 a.m every night um you know four hours of sleep at most um pretty much every day uh just over the last week or so um except for last night last night i was like fuck it i'm conking out at 2 a.m and yeah, yeah, because I work second shift, get home at midnight, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., normal times for me to go to sleep. When I stay up till 7 or 8, just, that gets to me. But I stepped out, thought, and I was like, holy fuck, it's here. It, it's there, it's there. And I took out uh, my phone, I started typing, and I started typing all of the story that I could think of that came into my head. And now, one of the things I saw on this, uh, um, what is it, another channel called Extra Credits, um, great channel, by the way. Definitely, you should check it out. They're they're awesome. Definitely helped me out a lot in this. And if you guys watched, thank you so much, um, because they gave me the um, insight of not going into a game with a full story. And it, it was a great explanation as to why. Which is just because um, if you go into it with a full story in mind, you tend to try to adhere to that story too much, and you don't let it evolve into a real, you know, inclusive type of game story. And that's kind of what I did with this. I wrote down the basic storyline. Basically, what I did was just the introduction that I can see the character, you know, telling everybody. And luckily, my sister's friend's mom has a recording studio that is not like my room, but it's an actual recording studio in her house. It's it's like a booth type thing. So um, I'm probably going to use my own voice for the main character just because I want to make it so that I can... Um, add voice to it and show them I can do all that kind of stuff and it'll be uh, basically there like there's not gonna be any facial animation because I can't do like mocap and get any facial animations and um, that would be something that I'd go back and do if I got the time because um, I have to adjust for the fact that I literally have like January 15th is the last day that I can submit this for my portfolio, and I still have to figure out the exact deadline of my application toward Columbia and um, all that kind of stuff. And so I have to voice the characters, but either way, I'm actually planning to have a mask on the character and his group and the other NPCs that you just kind of see around the normal people. They're not going to be talking. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to play into the story. I know it sounds like I'm being lazy, but trust me, it's going to play into the story and it's going to be very well. Everybody's kind of enslaved by corporation kind of thing. Um, and sorry about the chair. I still need to get a new one. Obviously can't afford it right now. But uh, these, you know, this character, or the main character who, you know, you guys are hopefully going to be playing as, um, will have a mask. And that's to hide his identity from, you know, the 
very people he's trying to go after and stop. And so even if I could figure out facial animations, that's still how it would be. It would be him in a mask. Um, and the only time that I would have him show his face is at the end of the game, kind of like uh, how Halo did, and I, I forget which one, Halo 3 or some shit, where at the end you see Master Chief's helmet fall to the ground, but you don't actually see his face. Um, and everybody, I, I remember everybody being like, oh my god, what the fuck? I want to see his face! And <laughs> I thought that was hysterical, because I was like, oh my god, that's fucking brilliant. You know? Um, and so basically, sorry, I keep trying to get this eyelash out. It's fucking bothering me. But basically I'm going to be doing that, and then on top of this, sorry, um, on top of this, I'm not just doing the animations, the, the modeling, the actual design of the story and such for the game and the you know voice acting which i'm gonna probably uh you know i'm gonna need other voices so i'm probably gonna get my friends in on it too um but it's also going to be uh what is it um i i have to program it um i have to work with the programming and learn how to program in unreal editor and it's very difficult to do all of this at the same time as learning all of it um, and it definitely, like, I've, I've tried to do this many, many times before, and I know, um, I, I always, I have a tendency to kind of look at things like we have, uh, some software at work, I, obviously I can't speak of it, but it, it's kind of poorly designed in my opinion, just because of the way it was made, and that's just because I always look at it and I'm like, can I, wait, can I move this back a little bit? Oh, no, don't want to do that because the face is still... Okay. But, yeah, I kind of look at it and I'm like, you know, this could be done so much better. And I always just kind of joke around, you know, hey, give me five minutes and a raise and I'll do it better, you know. But I, I know they're working on it and everything. It's it's one of those things that's kind of a work in progress. Does that look better? I think that looks a bit better. Um, and so, I mean, programming is something that I, I know how to do basic um, you know, I can do little stuff. Uh, game design programming, it's it's a little more difficult for me to catch on to. And that's just because it's very difficult for me to find the tutorials that I actually need to do so. Um, because a lot of the time there's, you know, tutorials on this and that and this and the other thing. Um, but very few will say, um, put this line of code here and then explain the full reason of why you know, um, or, or go into depth about it, you know, you'll hear, all right, so we're going to make a platformer, you're going to do this and this and this, and then you're going to put this here, and then we're going to put this here, and then you're going to do this, and you're going to make sure it works, and then you're going to put this here, and it's literally like 10, 20 minutes of that, and to me, that is not a tutorial that is not teaching somebody, it's kind of like my middle school math teacher would put a problem up on the board, put the answer, and say, everybody got it, and then erase that shit, and be like, okay, good, and so... It, it tends to be kind of difficult to find tutorials. Like the one I modeled this from, there was no voice to it. Um, there, there was just an image of the person doing it, and, and not image, but a video. And it, and they were going really fucking fast. And I was really tempted to. Uh, and don't worry, YouTube. I wouldn't spread it around or anything. It'd literally be for my personal use, just so that I can follow along with it better. Because I mean, like th this is how fast they were going. It was like this, and then they'd be over here. And then they'd be over there, and then do this, and then move that, and then do the other thing, and then blah, it was all over the place, and it was insane. And um, basically, it made it so fucking difficult for me to catch on to. And I had to watch so many parts over and over and over and over. Like, I mean, I think it was like a 20 minute long tutorial, and I literally watched it like for the whole fucking weekend, um, re watching parts and doing all that stuff. But. Um, what I was going to say is that I was very tempted to try to download it just so I can throw it in my video editor and slow that shit down, you know, because I mean, that is, that was like, what the fuck is going on here? And for someone who like, I'm used to the 3ds max that was there, I think 2012 or some, no, like 2010, 2011. Yeah. Um, because that's what I learned on in my tech, uh, tech class, which is like, some we have around here for uh, Lake County, but it uh, made it so that when I came into this one, I had to relearn a lot of the stuff, but not just relearn it, relearn where it is and how it is and, and what changed. 
Like there's one thing that I used to always use called fillet, which takes a edge and just kind of literally makes it like softer. So you'd get like this kind of edge and filleting it. Like imagine my fingertips are like the vertex vertices and it would just kind of spread them out in a certain way that would kind of round out the edge that you're dealing with. So like in this case with this guy, um, we'll go to his hand. Um, cause you can see, I, I, it's not a perfect, like I said, my, uh, changed in, it'll change in, uh, whatever in, you know, sculpting, but these things, I could take this edge and I could fillet it, which would make that edge a curve. And it would make it so that I can take a perfectly square edge of an archway and curve it so that that part of the archway was more curved and, and aesthetically pleasing instead of just a square. And, um, so it made it very, very difficult for me to go ahead and, and learn all that stuff. And it looks like they even took that out. Um, and you can see the feetsies here. Obviously not all that great in the feetsies. But they're feetsies. You know, looking at it a second time, it actually... There's a little bit I can change there, but it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Not not for a first time we're trying to do toes. Because I've like even when I was doing this before, I never actually attempted a body. Um, it was more like doing objects. Um, the only thing I got close to with the body was like Yoshi. You know, I, I modeled Yoshi once. It looked like a demon dog out of hell that was like the product of a of Severus and like the horse that belongs to the Horsemen of War. Like screwed and had a kid that was just like uh, it was weird, really weird. But it had a saddle, somewhat. Okay, maybe not that good of a saddle, but it was a saddle. Yeah. <laughs> but um, this is why I made the shoot, is because this way I can get rid of the feet. I wanted I wanted a basic human model that not only um, is is semi accurate, but I made myself. I didn't want to you know go on download one, um, and I'm gonna avoid doing that as much as possible. The only time that I would go on to download one is to have something to model after to have something that instead of an image like this I would have a solid 3d object that I can put next to my 3d object that I can make um, that way I can fully copy it and everything like that not copy is probably not a bad a good word but um, utilize it as a reference um, this way like if this thing was 3d here just like this guy I can move it around like this and make sure that all aspects, the width, the length, the height, the depth, every every bit of the 3D aspects of it fit. And if there was something like, for example, I know the, the shoulder blades here are a little fucked up, um, and and the like length of the back here could probably be, be a touch over. Um, in fact, let's see if I can fix that real quick. Um, but yeah, like it would make it so I'd have that reference and, and it'd make it a lot easier. I should probably cut that right here. Um, but I'm going to do that later. Anyway, um, this is like, this is why I've been so busy and haven't had time to upload. And I haven't even had time to play games. And I want to play games so bad, like so bad. Um, but luckily I've got next week off. Um, I'm going to be, my, my plan is to over the weekend play as much as possible on games not just because I, I need to relax but mainly because whenever I play games it tends to relax my mind so I can think of more concepts um and and it's just one of those big things to me that that like I fucking made this I made this it took me like 36 hours but I fucking made it and here we'll do that so you can see it um, and here, there we go. But yeah, you can see this. I mean, it looks like shit in some ways, but again, this is like, like Flubber before he took form into one of those dancing things in the, in the whole, you know, song and dance routine. Um, but yeah, and so this is, this is what I've been working on. Um, the shoe and the boot I literally just made today. Um, I was surprised quite, like, quite a lot that I was able to get it so quickly. Um, I used a lot of the stuff that I learned making this guy, which is why I wanted to follow tutorials and all that kind of stuff. 
However, I really wish um, I could find tutorials that explain all of this stuff. I don't care if it's a 40 hour long tutorial. Um, if I can follow along and they say, here, if you move this here, this will happen. But if you move it too far, you'll see this. If you move it too close, you'll see this. But you want to be right in this area. You know, that kind of thing. That, that's why, you know, I was talking about that whole programming thing where people are just like, do this, do that, do this, and you got it. And and some people I've seen, uh, like Games Plus James that I, that I watched for Unity, um, would say, put, uh, what is it, like F.1 or scale F.1 or something like that, and it would change where your character is facing. You know, it would take your character and invert it, and this is in 2D. Um that way you can go left and right and it would just invert your character um, and he would explain that and you know he even said if you do this it'll make him upside down if you do this it'll make him you know whatever um, and like he would explain all that kind of stuff and that's the thing that I, I really need is someone to explain it fully and that way I can fully get like um, you're gonna do this line of code because this you know you're gonna put this line of code because this part's gonna tell the system this this part's gonna tell you the system which one and this one's gonna tell sorry heck up uh, the system which way to send that person um sorry I was looking at the shape of him um see this is what happens when I start doing this I get insanely focused into it and zeroed in and uh like it's not even my medicine for that. It's literally just like it's so like zoned into this. I mean, I this this is one of the reasons I can't draw is because I get so perfectionist and perfectionist? No, perfectionist. I get I just I want perfect out good of hand to right draw. Just makes sense of that. I don't know. Cut it together. <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, this is what I'm you know trying to do and and the whole writing or drawing thing um i get i get crazy about it i mean like right now i'm staring at this fucking toe right here and i know this vertice right here needs to be moved out so i know uh like this this is one of the things that bothers me once it's attached is you can't exactly do that kind of stuff but um like this thing it's bothering the hell out of me just staring at it but i need these vertices uh to go out more like so so, hang on, actually, I do that, and then I'm going to take this in. Um, but see, this is the thing that, that gets to me, is that I get so zeroed in, and I look at the details just so immensely, that I just literally cannot take it, and it drives me insane. Um, shite. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, like, I just love doing this kind of stuff. And if I had a choice in where I can go in the game industry, it would be 3D modeling. It would be... Why the fuck aren't you conducting? Um, it'd be 3D modeling. Is Ignore back, back facing? No, why? I don't know why it's not selecting. Wait a minute. Ah, that's why. Because I'm in his left foot. The half of this guy's body is symmetried to the next. So, like, if I take um, this vertice, you can see the red vertice over here is actually glowing on the same exact side and if I take it I can swing them all the way around and do all that shit which I'm gonna undo that so quickly and uh... yeah so like this vertice is way too far out and needs to come in just a little bit to create a better foot and then this is gonna be a difficult thing because of how that character looks so these vertices if they come out just a little bit like this and I take uh, these vertices and these vertices move them just a little bit like that take this one and this one move them just a little bit out and then I can hold alt do that shit and then no yeah, so much better right yeah um, and I can take this and I can move these out just a little bit and make that look just that much better and then this can come out because no one's toe really leans in that much I don't think um, it's in a mind down, right? I'm a little bit, but not that much. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I just get crazy into this stuff, and I love this stuff, and I fucking love this. And if I had a choice to where I'd go into the game history, um, it would be 3D uh, modeling. It would be story writing. It'd be uh, you know, this this kind of thing, and it's just so much fun. 
And yeah, so I'm going way over the time limit that I wanted to do. But I wanted to let you guys know why I've been so busy and why I haven't been uploading as much. And I want you guys to know explicitly that this is not me ignoring anything for YouTube. This is me zeroing in on something that, you know, I hope you guys support me in because this can better my chances to get into Columbia because, and, and even put me up for a scholarship because that's one of the things they were saying. Uh, because, like I was saying, my grades are not all that good. And it's just because, you know, full-time job, um, ADD does not help because one of my teachers sent me a syllabus that was saying something like if you take a 16-week class, the amount of hours that you need to study each week are like nine or some shit. And, no, six? I can't remember. But if you take like an eight-week class, which I was taking during the summer, it increases to something like 16 hours a week. And I was taking three of those. I mean, yeah. It's not fucking easy, and when you have ADD, that increases by like fifty percent or or you know two times as much at some at some points. And so I mean, next week is gonna be like all my friends at work are like, dude, you know, enjoy your vacation. I'm like, dude, it's gonna be full of work. Like this is this isn't really a vacation to me. This is just like switching jobs for a week. Like I'm I'm going to this. I'm I'm gonna be posting for you guys. Um, I'm going to be writing up my game design document. Um, I'm going to be uh, getting schoolwork done. I'm going to try to get ahead on that shit. Um, my textbook should be coming in tomorrow, but luckily the first test is actually on the syllabus. It's just like a t syllabus quiz. Um, and so next week is just going to be packed with all of this shit. It's going to be designing, writing, uh, scripting. It's going to be modeling, sc uh, sculpting. Um, like who and luckily for this uh, uh application um which on top of it actually I have to do an essay and I've got to get a letter of recommendation which is my my boss said he's going to write me which I appreciate so much that guy's awesome um but what was the other thing there's something else I don't know I forgot um but yeah this uh they said it didn't have to be a full game. Um, pretty much, they, they, they're not looking for you to make a full game. They want to see your talent, what you can do, which is why I'm going into this. You know, I'm, I'm doing 3D. It's going to be a 2D um, action RPG. Like I said, it's going to be over the shoulder, so it's going to be more like... Here, let's see if I can rotate. Oh, uh, whoa. No. Oh, uh, what did I do? Yeah, like, the view I would want is something like this where it's kind of like you can kind of see over his shoulder just a little bit like maybe maybe right about there or so this way you can see the character and all that kind of stuff and see all that kind of stuff and you can rotate around him and you know look but I what I also don't want is I also don't want it to be um, something where you can just go to a corner peek around the corner fully with the camera and see everything you know exactly where everyone is at most, what I'd want is to be kind of like you can see some of it, you know, because um, like I said, I want that challenge to be there. I, I want, you know, it to be something that people look at and they're like, hell yeah, you know, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so I, I'm planning on two things for this game, um, and that's just for my application. Um, hopefully, I'll be continuing to develop this game afterward. But it'll be the introduction where it'll show the um, the animation, I guess you can call it, of the video of the introduction of it, um, which I've got, like I said, a very distinct vision for it, which I know I said I shouldn't go into a game with a full story. But I wouldn't say that's really more more a story. I would say it's more of like a, a way to portray the story, you know, kind of like how in Deadpool they say, look at the camera when you're talking to the fourth wall instead of just like, you know, saying uh you know this is what you're gonna say so portraying versus actually like what's gonna happen during it and i kind of have an idea of how it's gonna happen but i don't know i'm i'm really bad at explaining this shit so let me let me try again but it's gonna be like you know how he look looks and talks to the fourth wall um is how he's portraying it but the actual story of how that, yeah, the perfect, the, of how it fits into the actual storyline is going to change. 
Um, so it's not like they're saying this, but you're going to do this, this, and this, you know, you're going to do this at this time. And then and again, at this time and again, at this time, it's going to be more like, um, you know, just when you talk to the fourth wall, look at the camera. So he gets hit into the car by Colossus and he looks at the camera and he says something. Um, so that's kind of the vision I have in mind. So like I said, the introduction, um, where it's going to be the character, luckily there's not going to be much animating in there. And again, that's not for laziness. That is actually how I'm seeing this being done and basically how I, I want it to be done. It, it's going to be a certain type of view for it, a very mysterious kind of view, which I love. And then there's going to be one level. Now, I don't think this level is going to coincide with the actual bit of this, the you know introduction. Um, it may, but it may not. It depends. Um, I, I may just make a simple level of part of a level, um, if that makes any sense. Um, so kind of like in Call of Duty, but you're clearing out just one room or building instead of an entire level that you got to do. Um, and again, not out of laziness, but it's just to portray what I can do. Um, cause that's, that's really what they want to see. And so I've been yammering on for way too fucking long, but this is what I'm doing. That's, that's what I've been working on. This is why I've been so busy and why I haven't had the chance to really upload as much as I want to. Don't worry, I'm going to still continue to upload. I do not want to stop. It gives me like a really good reason to uh, start playing video games again. Because um, I was raised that video games are a waste of time. And I, I'm, a, like, I'm completely against that. And I believe that they're not just a waste of time. That they're actually very important to society today. And very important to people. And myself and so I mean that's why I want to make them I, I want to share this kind of stuff with the world and and help people uh, get the same experiences that I do um, but yeah sorry I'm yammering on again really tired um, this may end up being way longer than I expected it to yeah 42 minutes on the clock but yeah so ah. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm going to keep, you know, making videos for you guys. There's going to be a lot more coming for you. Um, this one is just going to be today's video simply because I, like I said, as you can see the time in the corner, um, I am exhausted. I've been working on this for a while. I haven't eaten a meal since fucking 11 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it's been fucking 14, 15 hours that I've eaten. Um, an actual meal, only little snacks at work, but yeah, so this is going to be what you guys see today, um, for my Thursday video, I'm not sure, um, I may try to get a Slime Rancher video in for that, because I really want to play that game, that game is really fun, um, but yeah, we'll, we're gonna, we're gonna see, if I make some serious progress on this, you're probably gonna see that too, and it's gonna be a much shorter video, I promise, um, it will be so much shorter this is way too long but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your patience i really really appreciate it i know i've been kind of shitty with my upload schedule i change it to one thing and i'm you know throwing it off less than a week or two later and i'm gonna try to get back on that don't worry next week's gonna be a lot of video making a lot of editing for this a lot of um, editing for you guys a lot of uh you know pre-setting up a bunch of videos I'm gonna make it so that i have a lot more time to make videos for you guys um, but yeah, Ugh. as I say in all my videos, guys, if you have any tips, tricks, or anything that can help me out in this, you know, let me know if, if you see a corner that may be a little, that could be fixed a little bit. Like I, I already know this, this little corner here needs to be fixed. I already know that. But if you see anything else or any tips or you find any tutorials that can definitely help me out, like I found a couple for hands. Um, that can make me make better hands. Um, let me know, guys. I really, I, I need the help. I'm, I'm working my ass off. I'm using all of the time that I've got, and like even at work, I'm drawing this shit on the, you know, on paper and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, help me, guys, because I could definitely use it. Give me a second point of view from this. Um, you guys are actually the first people to actually. What is that? Oh, it's just a weird vertice. Um, to actually see this. And it's... What is happening? I don't know what that was. 
Um, but you guys are the actual, actually the first people to see this. And that's weird looking. Um, to actually see this, sorry. And, like, my friends haven't seen this model. My family hasn't seen this model. Um, nobody's seen this model except you guys and me. Um, so let me know. I, I need the advice. I need the tips. I need the need the ideas, um, because that's that's the thing. Is I'm making this stuff not for me. I'm making it for everybody. I'm making it for the fucking world, and I want to make it as fucking awesome as I can. Like I can't even imagine the feeling of being able to release my first game because every time I try, I fall flat on my face, um, just because you know, I get a plan together with my friends and then it falls apart and then, you know, all that kind of shit happens or I try to make it myself and I get over, you know, over encumbered with all this kind of stuff and overwhelmed and I, I fall out of it. Um, but now I've got a motivation is for, for college. I've got a plan for it and um, hopefully shit works out well. But yeah, let me know um, if you guys can help me out. Like I said, I definitely appreciate it because I'm giving this everything um, like I said on Twitter, I may not have the skills now, but I'm gonna have to fucking Goku this shit up and go fucking God mode on this, because I'm not giving up this time, no, and let that be a lesson to everybody, you know, watching this, even if it's now or in the future, um, don't let the skills you currently have limit you, ever, like, ever, ever, there's so many resources out there that you can learn from, and just like I learned extrude and moving vertices and target welding and shaping and, and all that kind of stuff from this model, that's how I made that shoe. I didn't watch a shoe tutorial. I fucking made that myself. And let that, you know, take you guys on, on a journey through it because everybody should have the chance to follow their dreams. Everybody should have the chance to get their, you know, the skills they, they want. Not even that they need, but that they want. And it's because it's such a vital thing um, to be able to do what you love. Because, you know, doing... Here, let me see. No? Yeah, yeah, here, watch. Okay, here. So I keep this on top of my desk all the time. All the time. And this is what it is. Wait, let me see if I can get the better lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. there it is. Doing what you love is freedom, and loving what you do is happiness. And I literally keep this right up here, like, all the fucking time. Um, I think it was my brother's at first, and he never took it away to college, so I was like, fuck it, it's mine, I love that saying. And that's something I kind of live by, is that if I ever ended up in a boardroom doing accounting sheets or uh, some sort of business kind of shit... That isn't for game design. Like, if I owned my own company, that would be different. I'd be hiring people for that shit if I could. But I'd be happy to handle that if it was my company for games. If I'm handling that shit for some other corporation that wants nothing but money, oh, God, that just... I would be sickened by my own image. And don't let that offend anybody out there. I don't mean to. Um, That's literally just me. Because if you like that stuff, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. My brother's a financial advisor. He loves that shit. And so, like, for me, this is the stuff that I love. I, I love um, doing all of this. I love learning it, um, animating it, uh, making it. Just, ah, oh, it's, 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 like, an intellectual hard-on for me, basically. And, like, I may not know all of the skills required for this. I barely know maybe a one billionth of a percent of the shit that this kind of stuff takes. But I'm going to fucking learn it. Even if, even if the next four months that I have to do all of this shit in only leads me to have 2% of the skill that is required to fully make this shit, who the fuck cares? I made it. I learned that much more. I made myself a better person because I... I did all the work. I I looked for the tutorials. I followed them. I learned from them. I didn't just cheat from them, but I I learned, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And you guys should too because that's how you better yourself. I mean, 
hell, no one would know how to spell their name unless they learned how to write a character. So S for me, Scott. S. If I never learned how to write that, my name would be Cot every time I wrote it. Um, and and because I learned that, I can write my name now. And just like how um, I'm learning this stuff, once I learn how to model characters, I can then learn how to sculpt the characters, which I can then learn to put into my games and animate and make and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this guy isn't even rigged. He doesn't have bones in him. And in case you guys don't know what that means, because I don't know how many people actually know what that means, because... Um, I just learned the term rigged, and I kind of knew it, but I didn't fully know it, but it's just like a bone system. Um, so like in here, uh, where is it? Yeah, so you can see like bones, and pretty much you just add a bone, and it makes it so there's a bend point when you animate it or he moves or anything like that. And like this is the stuff that I am ecstatic to learn, and I cannot wait to like fully um, have something, even if... Even if after all of these months, I only have this guy, still blue, still low poly, running around, waving his arms, and bitch smacking everybody, I'd still be proud of it. So, like, like I said, don't let your own limitations limit you. I mean, fuck, limitations are meant to be broken so that you can go higher. There's like, you know, fucking rules. And... So, I mean, that's that's the thing, is that you can never learn unless you try. And one of the things that Extra Credits was saying is that um, when you're making games, fail faster. It's great life lessons, too. Life lesson, too. Fail faster, because then you learn what you did wrong, and you can learn from the mistakes. You know, you go downstairs on your hands, and you fucking fall on your face. You learn pretty quick that you shouldn't go downstairs on your hands. Not unless you're some sort of acrobat, gymnast, or some shit like that. Um, holy fuck, this video is going way longer than I thought. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, like I said, follow your dreams. Do not let the knowledge you have now limit, from, limit you from gaining the knowledge that you can have in the future. Um, find stuff. Find something you love. Go with it. And before I go on another rant with that, I'll make that another vlog or something. But um, yeah. Like, be proud of what you make. Um, even if you make a shitty-ass drawing, which I don't even have to really show you guys. Um, maybe I kind of do. But even if you make a shitty-ass drawing, don't let it keep you from doing your own shit. I mean, fuck, look at that. Like, you, well, hang on, you can't even really see it. Look at that. That was like me thinking of what these robots are going to look like in my game. How, how shitty is that? I mean, come on. I mean, that's god-awful. Like, ugh. But, like, look, like, this, this is another game I was, I'm, you know, going to be working on. A little crash test dummy dude. That, that's, my, that's my attempt at a mad scientist. I know it's shitty as fuck, but it's mine. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. So, don't let your own limitations limit you from going beyond them. I know what you're supposed to do. And, uh, again... You know, let me know if you got any tips or anything like that in the, you know, in the comments below. And wish me luck. Like, a lot of luck. Like, swimming in a sea of four-leaf clovers with leprechauns dancing the, you know, the, the river dance around the edges. With a rainbow. No, 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 not one. Like, 50,000 rainbows just crossing over each other. And with pots of gold all around me. And horseshoes flying in midair and, you know, floating and, and any other good luck symbols you can think of. Just there. Um, so, yeah, let me know. And may the force be with me. Yeah? No? Too many? I don't care. I'm, I'm tired. I've worked hard on this. And I'm proud of it. So, yeah. I will see all of you guys in the next video. See ya.